Hi, I'm Katie Mazzacco of FullSpectrumProductivity.com where I help established small business owners to save at least two hours a week by revolutionizing their productivity. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to organize your digital life. Now, as a, a busy entrepreneur and small business owner, things can so easily pile up. I know for me, as I'm going through um, doing day-to-day -day activities, I'm capturing screenshots, I'm downloading things, I'm uh, downloading recordings and audios, I'm constantly creating new files or filing files or receiving files from people, and it's just all these digital uh, items just floating around in our computer. And unless you have a very intentional funnel and system for making sure that each of those things are captured correctly and that they're put in the correct location and that periodically you're clearing the deck and making sure that everything is organized and where it belongs, you're going to face a lot of struggle and waste a lot of time. So I have three things to share with you today to help you begin to organize your digital life. The first is to create an intentional organization system for your digital files. I personally believe in uh, making it so that your filing system in your computer is reflective of your filing system on paper, if you have one of those, and also that it's very intentional and it follows uh, your operations manual as a company. So there are different sections. You can imagine them as departments. That there's this department, that department, that department, and there's an order for your files to be housed in. That being said, the next, the second uh, strategy that I have to share with you is clearing your desktop. <laughs> I, I have seen so many clients' desktops that are just riddled with uh, photos and documents and all these things. And often it's a sign that the first step hasn't been done yet, that there is no system for everything to flow into. When there's a system for you to put things into so that it's easy to retrieve, there isn't the need to have it on your desktop. Yes, in day-to-day -day life, I definitely will save a file to my desktop because it's an action or I'll take a screenshot and it automatically gets housed there. But at least once a week, ideally two or three times a week, I'm going through and I'm moving those um, into Asana as a task, delegating to my team using them, or taking the action and then filing them away. It's really important to make sure you clear the deck so that you have peace of mind when you look at your screen and you also are able to know where things are and it doesn't get out of hand. Number three that a lot of people don't think about is their downloads folder. So oftentimes I see entrepreneurs who are downloading all these documents from their coaches or their clients or whatever it may be, and it's all housed in this downloads folder. And it's the interesting thing when you're downloading a file is that you are then using the file, the file that it comes with has the name that the person who sent it to you wanted it to have. And that name doesn't always make sense to you. For instance, if somebody sends me an email, it might say, Katie Mazzacco information. Well, obviously, I'm Katie Mazzacco, so if I go in my files and I see a file called Katie Mazzacco information, I'm gonna have no idea what that means. So I could rename it to say, um, you know, coach's name and then what that information is about. Maybe it's mastermind notes. That way I know what it is and I can file it away so that it's easy for me to retrieve or to use to delegate to my team. I hope, uh, this has been helpful. One really important strategy I also wanna share with you is, I know it can be overwhelming to get started. I know that when, you're, when you have this crazy quagmire of digital files in your life and you just are so overwhelmed, you don't know where to begin, begin with the structure. You don't have to transform your entire digital life overnight, but let's say you have 25 really disorganized folders on your computer. If you were to create a bucket of 10 new files that you're slowly gonna move things into with intention and strategy, it's gonna make it so that it's easy for you to capture what you're bringing on from now forward, and then slowly over time, you can reorganize what you have into those buckets. And I have to tell you, it becomes easy breezy to transform your relationship with your team and your productivity with them by using this strategy. If you love this strategy, I have more like it on my website. I have a free checklist for you, 33 systems every small business must have to be successful. 
If you'd like to be successful, go to my website to download it now, fullspectrumproductivity.com. I hope that this has served you and I hope that you have a beautiful week. Keep thriving. Bye.